if I'm on the bus and I have my walking sticks, people would be like, uh, what are you going skiing? Uh, and I'll be like, no, I've got Parkinson's disease. And they're like, oh, is that like, uh, like I, I've got asthma. That's like, no, it's a little <laughs> different than that. But In May of 2017, I was uh, sent to the MS clinic at the UBC uh, Brain Health Center. I went uh, to get tested for that and, and really wasn't really concerned about it. Uh, and Dr. Carruthers is like, well, you know, the good news is you don't have MS, but um, I think you might have Parkinson's. You know, we're going to try to get you in to see a Parkinson's specialist. Uh, towards the time of the uh, appointment to see Dr. Squires, the, the fine motor skills were really struggling. And so I actually one time left my wallet in my right side of my pants and I was in a cab and I had to reach into this side and I, I, I couldn't, my hand was shaking so bad. Mm -hmm. So then I had to lay, lay down in the back seat of the cab and the cabbie's going, what are you doing? I'm like, trust me, if you wanna get if paid. Wanna get paid. <laughs> you, you begin to make all these excuses for what it possibly could be and then you hear like, oh yeah, you've got Parkinson's and it's like, it's almost a relief. Like, oh good, this is all one thing and not 20 di different things. Most people with Parkinson's are diagnosed when they're retired, their kids are grown. We're at a very different stage in, in our lives. That's changed our, the way we look at the rest of our lives significantly. I have a big job. I overseeing nine radio stations across the country. It's, I'm the national director of talk radio. I can't do everything like I used to. And um, that's, for me, it's, that's, disappointing, uh, it's frustrating, um, and it's something I have no control of. My whole Parkinson's, public Parkinson's persona was launched the day I told most people about my Parkinson's disease because I decided, uh, being connected to radio and TV, that I wanted to announce that I have Parkinson's on World Parkinson's Awareness Day on television. We're trying to encourage people to share their stories with with other people because that's how you educate people, but it's also how you raise awareness about what's going on. And when you raise awareness, you raise funds. When you raise funds, you get more research. When you get more research, that leads to hopefully, you know, stopping Parkinson's in its tracks. And that's what we want to do. I feel Parkinson's has been a gift in that it's shown me how much love and support that I have from my wife and my son and my family and my friends that we probably all have, but we don't know it until we need it.